with the preeminent feature of being able to withstand attacks from man portable air defense missiles. The Vibes 25 electronic warfare system is considered the savior of the Russian Ki-52 attack helicopter on the battlefield. The Vibes 25 electronic warfare system was first presented at the Eurosatry 2010 arms show in Paris. However, at the time, experts were still skeptical about the system's ability to deflect missiles. Russia first deployed the Vibis system on Ka-52 helicopters in Syria and recorded impressive results. Not a single helicopter equipped with the Vibis was hit by terrorist manpad missiles, Russian officers said. Ka-52 helicopters equipped with Vibis systems have fallen so past the harsh tests of the Egyptian Ministry of Defense. The country's military launched 20 Eclat Man Portable Air Defense missiles at the Ka-52, not hitting a single shot. Official documents say the system has an infrared missile tracker, a laser countermeasure. The laser countermeasure is used against IR-guided surface air and air to air missiles. It is reinforced with a flare dispenser. The equipment can reportedly detect and jam threats across 120 degree azimuth and 60 degrees elevation. Alongside IR threats, Vibis 25 detects and jams radar threats from 4 to 18 gigahertz. One of the Vibe's preeminent features is its fully automatic operation, allow it to react quickly to threats without waiting for a crew decision. To operate effectively, Vibe's 25 uses a combination of different sensors and receivers, including radar warning receivers, laser warning receivers, and missile approach warning sensors to detect potential threats, issues warnings to pilots, and deploy countermeasures. The Vibis 25 system can be easily integrated into both helicopters and fixed-wing aircraft, making them a versatile solution for our air forces. It is known that the system was deployed on aircraft supporting Russia's intervention in Syrian civil war. Legends learned from its deployment in this conflict resulted in an upgrade thought to have been completed in 2018. Alongside the Russian efforts, the systems are believed to equip the Mi-17V1 medium-lift utility helicopters of the Egyptian efforts.